keep thinking, okay, Daddy, the joke's over. I always thought that happiness was having your pulse taken by my father. Even as kids, Judy and I could tell them anything. After 12 years of marriage, kiddo, not bad. Oh, I just thought of an old doctor's joke. A cardiac patient says, uh, will I be able to have sex, doctor? And the doctor says, yes, but only with your wife. I don't want you to get too, too excited. excited. Yeah, sexist joke. I'll be sure to tell that at my next women's group. Well, that what you talk about? We talk about the expendability of husbands. Oh. Uh oh. What? My plane. TWA flight number seven from London to New York is now boarding at gate 14. I hate it already. It's going to be awful without you. Oh, come on. You called your own shots for 29 years. Mm, that was different. I wasn't a wife. You get brainwashed. Besides, you'll be busy with your assignments. A week in London, then I'm just a tourist. What's wrong with taking a vacation for yourself? Driving around France, all our old spots? Alone? I hope so. Maybe the shortest vacation in history. You can always write a travel article. Mm. I haven't written a travel article since I was 12. Dr. Lear, Sophie and Dave Elias from Hartford. You took care of my father. Oh, sure, sure. Remember, the night he died, you stayed with him all night in this hospital room. All night. That was quite a while ago. Uh, do you know my wife? How do you do? A pleasure. This is Lear. To me, your husband is a god. A god? Uh, this is it, Mushy. Does a god fondle his wife's rear end in public? Well, that's so no one will think you're a wife. Thank you. The Times Paris Bureau will know where I am. He's finished, and he goes off to sleep. And I'm laying there, and I'm mad. What do you think should be happening, Julie? Well, I figure that if women are, like it says in all the magazines, are, are having orgasms all over the place, why shouldn't I? I'd like her to be satisfied. I'd like to feel as if I'm doing a good job. That's what it's like sometimes, a job. Do you ever tell Dan what you do like? It makes you excited? <sighs> well, he should know. How? Good sex starts with being able to talk to each other. That's a skill you can learn. What we'd like to do today is to give practicing doctors some concept of the techniques used in the treatment of sexual dysfunction. Certainly, we don't expect all of you to become sex therapists. But the need for doctors to be able to... That looks OK. It's going out to 200 teaching hospitals next week. Yes? Dr. Corbett called. He's penciled your meeting in for tomorrow morning at 10. Hallelujah. And please sign those letters on your desk before you go to lunch. Thank you, Doris. I had two students ask me today if the psychiatry department was going to take your program away from you. I have Corver's word they won't. Corver's a tower of jello. He'll never stand up to them. First, they'll have nothing to do with you. Sex therapy, the dirty word. Now that your program's a runaway success, you everybody wants to... You sound just like Martha. Well... So everything's working out, Hal? As sex education will stay with me in public health, 
and sex therapy will move into the Department of Psychiatry under Dr. Gross. Oh, fine. Uh, then I'll be reporting to both of you. Well, not exactly. I don't know what that means. I'm asking Dr. Martin to edit up. But this is my program. I created it from nothing. I built it. Nobody's questioning that, Hal. Or your credentials as a doctor, as a urologist. That's what gave the program credibility from the beginning. Then what's the problem? You're not a psychiatrist. If I were to name you the director of a program in that department, well, I'd have a revolution on my hands. You can see that, Hal. It's purely We could make you a associate or something like that. Have you told Martha? No. Why louse up her trip? Besides, I know what she'd say. Why don't you get out of there? Why don't you? And do what? Start over, build a private practice in New York? Yeah. This is Lynn Galwell, my choreographer. My cousin, Dr. Lear. How do you do? Listen, I think I'll skip dinner for the night if you don't mind. Why? Linda's holding a table for us across the street. I'm not hungry. I'll take a rain check. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Well, Pleasure meeting you. Night. Night. So what do you think? Warm night, Doctor. Better turn the air conditioning on. Yeah, I may do that, Fred. How's the back? Better. I'm doing those exercises. Better. Uh, yes, operator, I'd like to speak to France, please. Area code 935. Sorry, sir, the circuits are busy. Try a little later. Thank you very much. Oh. Yes, yes, I know. It's against the law in France to work while you're eating. The call to your husband. I try it now? No, it's a little early. We'll try that later. Oh. Thank you. 